Attracting talent from all over the St. Mary's Gales, some of their talent, they haven't had to go far at all. I'm talking if you throw it on MapQuest, maybe 0.2 miles. Aiden Mahaney got him from his own backyard, and he's looked pretty good to start. Aiden Mahaney's that dude. He's, he's taking over the game. He's that guy. It never mattered what age Aiden Mahaney was. He's used to being the best player on the floor. It was from day one, and it, it wasn't physical. It was all, all skill. He was always the best shooter, the best handler, the best passer. He's just always was a step ahead of, of most people. Current Camp Alindo senior Logan Robeson and Mahaney started playing basketball together or against each other in kindergarten. There's not many people that just have the innate ability to just go out and win games, and he's done that ever since he was in middle school. Robeson knew his former teammate would be a good player at this level, but this good, this early? A lot of people talk about, you know, the jump from high school to college, and, you know, there were a lot of questions, of course, with him not being, like, the biggest, the biggest guy out there. I can't say I saw this much success coming this early, but, I mean, it's, it's also not surprising at the same time. Aiden Mahaney going toward the basket. Tough shot. Good! He hit it to put St. Mary's ahead. 0.3 seconds left. Mahaney's high school coach, Stephen Dyer, wasn't surprised by the freshman's burst onto the scene. Dyer had seen this story when Mahaney was putting up numbers as a freshman at Camp Olindo. You know, Aiden's the best player that I've ever coached. You know, every time that I coached him, I always thought we had a chance to win when we had him just because he plays with that confidence. Really the only time Mahaney hasn't won games? It was when he played against a Randy Bennett coach team. Back in the days of playing on eight foot hoops, Bennett was coaching his kids. Mr. Mahaney was coaching Aiden's team. Unfortunately, I never got the best to coach Bennett when I was playing against him. His, uh, they had a great team. Obviously, I felt like my dad got out coached by coach. The first memory I have of him, I actually was running out of the gym with like five seconds left in the game crying because we had lost. And uh, I remember he told my mom at that point that, uh, that I love the game. And he said that yeah, I had heart. Now on the 10 foot hoops, Bennett and Mahaney have teamed up together and are hoping for the Gale's deepest run in tournament history. Three miles down the road, Mahaney's former teammates will be cheering on their hometown hero. We're a town of 16,000 people and you don't see many people go out and do what he does. As one of his friends and teammates and you know, I've, even if I've seen that movie before, it was, it's still special every time. Here's the freshman to Haney, heaves one up, why not? A lot of my good friends and teammates are still on that team, so whenever I can support, love to show, uh, show my face out there and uh, give back to my community. Freshman or not, Randy Bennett said he's not afraid of the moment whatsoever and will not be afraid of the moment in the NCAA tournament. It tips off for the Gales Friday, 11 a.m., their first-round matchup, VCU.